Okay, in this brief tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to use Purdue University's online writing lab in the section on using APA citations. So I've already opened up the Purdue online writing lab. For you to open it up, if you go into and do a Google search and just type in Purdue online writing lab APA, you will come up to this page. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the format for a citation for scholarly articles, or what Purdue is calling articles in periodicals. Okay, I've already opened it, but I'm going to open it again. And what I'm doing is I'm scrolling down here, and you're seeing two formats, one for an article in a journal paginated by volume. And that means a journal that's paginated by volume begins with page one in issue one and continues numbering issue two where issue one ended. So that's why you're seeing these high numbers over here. So it will go throughout that whole entire volume. And um, as it continues in the next um, issue of it, it's going to keep the pagination going. So uh, let me just kind of point out a few things here. First, obviously, you begin with the author's last name. Please note that author's first and middle names are not used in APA. So here you're seeing the initials, first initial, middle initial. Following the name of the author, you see the year of publication of the article. It comes immediately after the author part of the citation and is followed by a period. Then we have the title of the article itself. And what's important to notice is that in the APA style, the title of articles follows what we call sentence case, meaning that the first word as in a sentence is capitalized, but words thereafter are not capitalized. So notice, for instance, preparing is not capitalized. Should you find within the title of an article a proper noun, such as perhaps the name of a city like Rome or Paris, those are proper nouns. They would be capitalized in the title of an article. Okay, the title of the article is followed by a period. The information that follows Right here is the title of the journal. It's italicized and returns to what we think of as title case. So the main words in the title of the um, journal are capitalized. Words such as of, prepositions, and articles like and are not capitalized. Following the title of the journal, we have a comma, then the volume number, another comma, and the page numbers. We do not use abbreviations PP. Uh, in front of the page numbers. Now the example below is for an article that appeared in a journal that's paginated by issue. And so for instance, in this particular journal, uh, we're on issue 3 of volume 15. And even though it's issue 3, because the pagination begins again for each issue, you'll notice here, even though it's issue 3 of volume 3, the numbers of the, art, the article happens to start on page five in that issue. Again, I'll just repeat again, we just have here the first initial of the author's uh, first name. It is not written out, followed by the year in parentheses, then the period, the title of the article. Again, notice sentence case, the title of the journal, italicized. And the difference here between journals that are paginated by issue versus volume is following the volume number you are going to put down the issue and then obviously the pages. Now what I want to do is just briefly walk you through what the citations will look like in the text of the paper. So we have a sample paper opened up right here and I'm going to scroll through it just very briefly. Okay so the um want to just point out uh, right here we have a citation where uh, the person who wrote this paper does not want to use the author's names in the sentence. So uh, the authors come here at the end in parentheses and notice in parentheses all the authors here are listed with the and abbreviation sign and a comma and the year of publication. Now I'm going to show you on some other examples where the author's name appears at the beginning of the sentence. So I'm scrolling up here and here we have an example of three authors that wrote an article together, and their names are included in the subject of the sentence. Please note that the year of publication is always right with the author's names. It does not appear at the end of the sentence. Now I want to show you what happens when an article that has three or more authors is repeated again within the same paper. So when we come down here, notice what happens. We don't repeat Cummings, Butler, and Kraut again. We just list the first author followed by et al. Et al is a Latin abbreviation meaning and others. So et means and, al is an abbreviation, so it is followed by a period. 
I'll just walk you through a few other citations very briefly. Um, in this case, we have the authors as subjects within the sentence. So in this project, and then of course, all the authors' names are listed. We have here one, two, three, four, five authors. They all get listed. Of course, if you have to use this reference again, you would just list Kraut, followed by et al., and then the year of publication. I'll scroll through and show you maybe perhaps one or two others. Um, again, this is the first time these two authors are mentioned. Now, I, this is a very good example. What happens when we have two authors is if they are repeated again in a subsequent citation, you do need to list both at all times. So that's what is going on right there. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little further and just come to the reference section. Notice it's called References, this section. And uh, here we have some of our articles, and I'll go through them very briefly with you. Uh, these are the three authors. And right before the third author, we put in the and sign, as you see there. The title of the article, again, sentence case. The title of the journal, volume, in this case, issue. Okay. Um, in this case, again, we have all of our authors, the and sign right here. And in this case, we don't need the issue. Okay, and uh, again, here we don't need it. You can tell just from looking at this is 317 to 348 for the pages. Um, we know that this journal, each issue just continues with the page numbering throughout the volume. Okay, so that's really the basics, and uh, it's a good way to get started. If you have more questions, of course, you always could go to the Purdue Owl and uh, check out more information there. So that ends this tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you, and feel free to watch it more than once if you need to, and if you want to archive it in YouTube. Uh, if you hit the thumbs up, it will be in your saved um, YouTubes, and it will be easier for you to find later on if you need it.